Elish Norn on Kaladesh. Let's talk about it. First we need to know what day they're born are. They are a race of carefree live now dilator sort of beings. Not giving a care as long as they live life to the fullest. They are a byproduct of the Aether refining process and ironically need to be controlled by machines to manifest themselves properly. A detail we need to keep in mind is the glowing blue Aether cracks on their skin and the kind of metal guarding they wear. The Aether escapes from their body in almost smoke-like trails from these cracks in their body. We will get to that right now. In Conspiracy 2 of all sex, we get this beautiful reprint of Route featuring Elish Norn blowing up a lot of creatures. Look very closely at the few in the front. Glowing blue Aether cracks and similar outfits to the Aether born on Kaladesh. Going even deeper, we can see that this glowing energy is escaping their bodies akin to how an Aether born's energy would leave its body. One thing that counters this theory is that there is one clearly female character being routed. Although I don't believe it's been confirmed that Aetherborns can't take a female form. They also strike somewhat of a resemblance to Mirans of old Miradin. A counterclaim to this is that Mirans aren't known to have these glowing blue cracks on their body. A second counter to that here would be the sky itself. We don't see any of Miradin's suns in the background as most cards on Miradin and or Anuphorexia have in their skies. Also the air looks way too clean to be from Mirrodin. Phyrexians are known to kill those who want to be complete, which is their way of perfecting organic fleshy life by infusing it with machines. Being raw organic energy based life form would fuel the Phyrexians love for experimentation. And by their life today die to moral kind of mentality, the Aether born don't seem to be the kind of race that would take too kindly of being completed. We can see some evidence in the Kaladesh holiday by a box promo which is chief of the foundry. Its design does look very Phyrexian, which isn't a clear indicator that Phyrexians are going to be in either revolt. But let's look at the background and flavor text. We see dark, smoggy skies similar to those of New Phyrexia. Sure, it can be a chief of the foundry who is on New Phyrexia, until we get to the flavor text which is the same as flavor text of the Kaladesh card. Clearly states that this foundry chief is definitely on Kaladesh. What do you guys think? Do you think that Tezzeret can find a way to transport the Phyrexians to Kaladesh to aid Tezzeret as he confronts the Gatewatch? Going to give a shout out to Sabin Lore for the detailed info about the Aetherborn. He says that Tezzeret may very well have the teleporter to bring the Praetors and Phyrexians to Kaladesh. Go check out the link in the description to learn more about that teleporter from Sabin that supports my crazy theory. If you enjoyed this crackpot theory, Please shoot me a like and subscribe to my channel for various magic related videos along with other text-to-speech videos I create. Until next time, peace.